Sales Vice Foreign Minister urged Iranian authorities to promptly release the detained South Korean oil tanker. However, reportedly there has been little progress made in talks. Yoon Jung Min brings the updates. According to Seoul's foreign ministry, first vice foreign minister Choi jong gun met in Tehran on Monday with Iran's foreign minister Mohammad Shavad Zarif and requested the early release of the South Korean ship seized by Iran a week ago. Reports say the Iranian side reiterated its stance that the issue is being handled by the judiciary and urged Seoul to resolve the issue of Iran's frozen assets in South Korea. Iran says it seized the oil tanker because it was causing environmental pollution, but the ship's operator has been denying that claim. Seoul's foreign ministry said Tuesday that the South Korean diplomat also met with the governor of the Central Bank of Iran, Abdul Hamadi, and the chief of Iran's Strategic Council on Foreign Relations, Kamal Harazi. In those meetings, the vice foreign minister again strongly urged the prompt release of the vessel and asked the Iranian side to submit evidence of the pollution. Our government is doing its utmost to secure the release of the ship and crew as early as possible. But at this point, it's hard to tell exactly when that will happen. Che is also expected to meet with Iran's deputy justice minister, the chief of the National Security and Foreign Policy Commission at Iran's parliament, and a professor at the University of Tehran. In view of Iran's past seizures of foreign ships, securing the oil tanker's release could take weeks or months. In 2019, Iran released a British-flagged oil tanker and released it two months later, and in 2013, it released an Indian oil tanker in about a month after seizing it, citing environmental pollution. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.